What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Almighty Maxman. Today, we're reacting to blind dating sex women based off their cosplay outfits, you feel me? Last time we reacted to it was based off their bodies. I'm gonna cap. The video got a little toxic. If you ain't watched that video, man, go watch that. It's on my channel. I'm gonna link, have, like, the card pop up. or will have the link below. Or at the end of the video, you can click it, whatever. But this time, it's based off the cosplay outfits, you feel me? Based off what animes they dressed as. Uh, so, let's hop straight to the video, man. Roll to 1K. Oh, flip. Okay. Yo. Yo. Now, she got a nice voice, though. No cap. Uh, my name is Christian St. Peter. I'm from Long Beach, California. Um, I work for the North American Collegiate League, which is a non-profit collegiate esports league. What character are you? I'm Luffy, the monkey. From one this nigga just said Luffy the monkey, nigga. It's Monkey the Luffy, my nigga. How you dressed as a nigga? You don't know the nigga name, bro. And I don't know this is a little off topic, but you know when the, they thought the, 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 the straw has died? And that one fat dude was impersonating Luffy and everybody thought he was Luffy? That's what he looked like right now. He looked like the nigga that from after the time skip when they thought he was dead. And that fat nigga was fucking dressing up as him. People thought that was Luffy. That's what he looked like. For me, it's the entertainment factor. It's not even necessarily about wanting to be a character or anything like that, but like the way other people react to you, um, is what does it for me. Shoes. Not gonna lie, you really can't tell much off the anime shoes. A lot of animes have similar styles. You wanna try guessing each one? That's just gonna be hard guessing. Oh, wow, I'm gonna do terribly. <laughs> Number one, I see purple boots. I have no idea. The first thought that comes to mind is somebody who rides a motorcycle. No idea why. Second is definitely Annabelle, which is a horror movie. Third, Sailor Moon? I, <laughs> I have no idea. Fourth, I'm kind of scared of her with those boots on, to be honest. Um, I'm going to be careful what I say to her. And then fifth is... Definitely some sa some samurai shit. But it's the uh, sister from Demon Slayer. I'm also probably wrong about that. <laughs> we have the most important question coming up early. What is your favorite anime? Yes. Very important question. You can tell a lot from a person based off their favorite anime, my nigga. My favorite anime is Naruto, so that's how you know. That's how you can tell I'm a cool ass nigga, right? You feel me? Like, saying, well, I got two. Tired to play Naruto and Code Geass. So, like, you know what I mean? I'm a cool ass nigga, because Naruto, you know what I mean? Cool ass show. And I'm also a smart nigga. Only smart niggas watch Code Geass, so you gotta pay attention to who, when somebody tells their favorite anime, I'm gonna break it down for you. I gotcha, I gotcha. Sailor Moon. To the point. All right. Off rip, I never watched Sailor Moon, but some old shit. So she's into the, she's she's a classic. You know, what I mean? she's very mature. You feel me? Mature woman, straight to the point. You feel me? Like she knows what she wants in life. Let's go on to the next one. Hey, hey, she said, Kak hey, she's a freak, my nigga. Run that back. She's a freak. Yeah, she's a freak. If y'all watch the anime, there's like it's not really no, it's like some gambling shit. But you could tell just like the way this girl is moving, like it's some type of like it's really like a lot of sexual like kind of thingies. I don't know how to describe it, but it's weird. But she's a freak, so jot that down. She finna top you, mop you till you fucking die, nigga. Suck the sword out your shit. So I'm keeping her on. I'm keeping her on the roster. Oh yeah, she's definitely into the uh, role playing as yo. You're my big brother. And she calls you a Nissan a lot. You feel me? Like she, she, you see, you can tell by her voice is high pitched. Like she's into that, like, oh, like role playing as you know what I mean. Like you're my big brother. I want you to fuck me, O Nissan type shit. What got me into singing any song in Japanese music? Oh, so you about to bust out with Bluebird right now, or? Ahoy, 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 yeah, and she. Sola. We can we can end it right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number four. <laughs> okay, confession time. Uh -oh. I'm not a huge anime fan. Don't kill me. Okay, not huge, not huge. Not what you huge, watch? not huge. Okay, I'm, but I do have a favorite anime. All right, there we go. And that is Inuyasha. I okay. love me. That's also a classic for me. Also a classic. I never watched that shit, but niggas say it's good. But I can't really tell you based much off of that because I don't know fuck the anime. Like I don't know what the anime is about. I know it's niggas with sword, but I don't know what the fuck is about. So on to the next. I used to stay up Saturday night. 
trying to force myself to stay awake to, to watch that episode on uh, Adult On Cartoon Swim. Network. Yes. Love that. I think Inuasha was probably my first one, too, that I, like, remember watching. Oh, yes. Number five? Oh, One Piece. <laughs> hey. She, she's, she, she's a little goofy. You know what I mean? She's, like, she's one of those, like, oh, my God. Like, I'm so goofy. You know what I'm saying? She likes One Piece. And Luffy's a goofy guy. But it depends. It depends what favorite character is, too. So if he gets to that question, I could really break it down. Um, so this is gonna come to a shock when y'all come see me, but it's actually Naruto. Ooh. Hey, I'm on Boruto right now, still. Real nigga, real nigga, feel me? Real niggas, you, you know what I mean? I, I could, I could tell he's a real nigga just by looking at him. So, funny guy, you could tell. Coming out. Yeah, cool guy, cool guy. Oh man, I'm gonna feel bad no matter who comes out. Well, first of all, who would I eliminate? I'm gonna eliminate. The bitch that watched any Yasha, cause she she she's not really into anime like that. So fuck is he doing on the show, my nigga? Feel me? So she get she getting clipped. Pack him up. You on the show about anime and you didn't watch anime, my nigga? You should have got on the one for the bodies. Feel me? Should have got on those uh, dating women based off their bodies, my nigga. Cool. Say that. Thank you. Um. So I'm gonna just have to get rid of number one. I'm sorry. I would never <laughs> ride a motorcycle in my life. I'm sorry. You're totally fine. Well, I, your, huh? your costume's amazing. Thank you. And uh, I mean, yeah, the only reason I got rid of you is I really just didn't feel anything. Yeah, like, no problem. Yeah. And I thought you have a really cool voice. Are you a baritone? I, I'm just a dude. <laughs> 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 like I said, I'm just a dude. Nah, I'm a cop. Why she came so offended talking about get wrecked? I don't rhyme. Yo, what's up? You want a box, nigga? Bro, hit her with a gum gum gallon, nigga. She coming at you way too crazy, bro. Run, yo, I don't know if y'all peep. Run that back, my nigga. The way she came out, she came out mad aggressive. I'm sorry. Get wrecked. I would never <laughs> ride a motorcycle in my life. I'm sorry. Look, look. She's getting, like, get wrecked. I would never ride. Like, she got offended that he eliminated her. She just walked off. And fuck is you cosplay that punchline? What the fuck is that? Let me, let, me, let me look that up. There might be some shit that's known, and I'm over here looking crazy. You're totally fine. Well, I... Huh? Your costume's amazing. Thank you. And, uh, I mean, yeah, the only reason I got rid of you is I really just didn't feel anything. Yeah, like, no problem. Yeah. And I thought you have a really cool voice. Are you a baritone? I, I'm just a dude. I'm <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know what a baritone is either. I, I, for, I, I'm like, Kyle said the same thing. I'm thinking she's talking about some pronoun shit. Well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, you too. Yeah. I never watched the anime punchline. Okay. Um, a bit different things than what I was expecting. I like the chain. <laughs> I do see like the bottom of like a French maid's outfit. Yeah. And some purple coming out. Yeah. Not entirely sure yet. And then number three, it reminds me of Pepe Lapu. So oh, that's okay. a thing. <laughs> I'm just getting attacked by colors right now. Um, and it's a good thing. I like I it. I have a tail. Oh, and the tail. That I did not see. She's a furry. It looks like a uh, Monsters, Inc. <laughs> I myself am coming out of a very long-term relationship. So what is the longest relationship that you've been in? The longest relationship I've been in is... Hey, that's a good question, too. For the answer, you can tell a lot based off the girl. How how much relationship... One, how much relationship she's been in and how long they've been. Because if she's been in a bunch of relationships, that's bad. But if she's been, like, in a couple, but they only last, like, six months, that's also bad. Because, you know what I mean? She's, she's not, you know what I mean? She's not really holding it down. And then, uh, That's a good answer. So my longest relationship was three years. Okay. That ended in my first year university. At the end of my first year of university. And then uh, number three. My longest relationship has been about eight months, actually. That's bad. If she can't get past the years, I mean, she only had one boyfriend, cool. But if she has multiple boyfriends and she can't get past a year in a relationship with any of them, that's bad. So she she might be the problem, Monica. Depending on how many boyfriends she's had. Relationship ended in 2017. Oh, wow. um, I am just really looking for someone who we really complement one another and we have a lot of compatibility. And then I'm um, number four. My longest relationship was also three years. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, all for it, I'm eliminating the girl that only been in an eight-month relationship because she don't know how to hold down a nigga. For me, the only bad side to dating a girl with a long-term relationship that's been in one, she might be stuck up on her ex. That's the only bad thing. But if you a real nigga, you can convince her otherwise, you feel me? Like, there's ways around it. That's the only bad thing, though. But if she can't get past a year, bro, pack them up. You're toxic, my nigga. Something wrong with you, my nigga. You're a de- defective product. broke up with me and you I'm know, sorry no don't be sorry <laughs> but I feel like it was actually a blessing for me you know finding my independence going back to childhood hobbies like anime of course cosplaying I had always wanted to ever since middle school and you know I've explored so many things so many creative outlets like streaming on twitch you know in my free time I'm a little girl in the middle um, this one's gonna pain me but uh her she yeah, she getting packed up. She getting packed up. Oh, she's a baddie. <laughs> okay. Oh, so they're not just cosplaying anime characters. They're cosplaying a bunch of other shit. Because this is, this is some Marvel shit. Obviously, only being in an eight-month relationship, I would have liked to hear a bigger number. <laughs> nah, she's cute, though. Might be a L, but she might be toxic. Okay. But you're gorgeous, and I love your outfit. Thank you. <laughs> and you're handsome, too. I appreciate it. I'm hurt. It's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> nah, she look good though. She look good. She might be the best looking one on there. Keep it G. <laughs> Why do you cosplay? I cosplay because I like to feel like the character that I'm trying to cosplay. For. Yeah, she's a freak. Like, I mean, realistically, I can't be a gremlin in real life, but I love that movie, The Gremlins, and I want to be Greta from Gremlins. Overall, my style is already, you know, very much creative and artistic. So I think that um, when I cosplay, I kind of feel like it kind of satisfies my, you know, creativity. Oh, so we did uh, number two? I almost feel like more like myself or that I can speak. I don't like her voice, my nigga. Her voice pissed me off. I'm packing. I don't care for what you're talking about. I'm packing you up just based off your voice, my nigga. That shit get me mad, bro. Myself? It's not like she's, she's trying to talk like that, my nigga. I'm in cosplay. Like when I'm with other people who are cosplaying and they recognize my cosplay, I just get filled with so much positive energy and I feel like I can radiate that positive energy to others. And then uh, number three. I cosplay because life is too short to look basic. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Yes. Life is too short. <laughs> if you were in an MMORPG or if you were characterizing your Sims, you would not want to look basic. I actually stream in my cosplay actually same you do yeah. oh nope no way uh, yes way oh my god that's <laughs> actually when i mainly wear it you know if you guys don't mind uh are you able to do like the best impression of your character <laughs> um all right this is i'm sorry if this makes anybody cringe um hi i'm yumiko hi yumiko <laughs> <laughs> number two super Yumiko. daisuke <laughs> I was waiting for the Onisan, my nigga. Yeah, she, she's definitely in. She, yeah, I want to cap. She, she got packed up, bro. And then these two, I don't know who to pack up between them. Because, I mean, for him, if I'm him, I'm picking. I'm, I'm like, I'm choosing her as the final, like, choice. So I'm packing up these two if I'm him. Because they have a lot in common. I'm not going to cap. These niggas got a lot of common. They both like One Piece. They both stream. You know what I'm saying? Like, this would be his ideal girlfriend. But for me, I'm just trying to get my shit mopped. And she heard the anime toy show she was talking about. It's some freaky shit. So she might really mop my shit. You feel me? So, like, I'm picking her as the final choice just because I want to get my shit mopped. I don't want no girlfriend off this shit. <laughs> and then, uh, number three. It'll be our little secret. <laughs> our what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, but we don't have to. Huh? So, the first one I'm going to eliminate is number one. Damn, she would have mopped this shit. She ugly though or not? <laughs> she not ugly though. Nice to well, meet I still you. like your costume. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> you might go from Kakiguri. It's like a, a, a gambling type of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, some gambling shit, but it's all like the way they do it, bro. Some freaky deaky shit. Man, like, I'm gonna cut, man, again. I know she, she, she gonna, she would have mopped this shit, bro. You feel me? The cover of it, probably. Yeah, yeah. you should watch it definitely. I'll add it on the list. Yeah. She's cute. She's cute. <laughs> That's Loki. Oh, on his part, I would eliminate the second bitch. So that's me? That's you. Yeah. Sorry. 
What she look like? She look annoying. She sounds annoying. Hi. Hi. Well, you look great. Thank you so much. No problem. And I'm so happy you sang Bluebird for me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm happy. Always happy to sing. Appreciate. Nah, she's annoying. Yo, you might make a packer off the show, bro. What the fuck? Seem pretty cool. I appreciate that. Yeah. I also really love your cosplay. That's awesome. I, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> nah, she's cringe. She's mad cringe. I'm ready. Bro, if there was a cringe meter, my nigga, she broke it, bro. Like the girl from before, bro. Oh, was I the only one? That shit was so cringe. Mm, Lucy, I'm coming. <laughs> Hi. Oh, wow. That's a lot going on. <laughs> I mean, it looks great. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Brandy. Brandy Christian. There we go. She look good too, and she like she got she. Oh, Why did you know? She look like a nice vibe, and she's cute. They look, yo, I'm on cap. This might be the perfect match, bro. Like I think it's the first video I don't watch from the Jubilee shit. That is like a perfect match, bro. For you know I me, mean? cause I watch one based on off the outfits, like just regular outfits, and that shit's low key trash. I might not upload that one, but this shit, like you know what I'm saying, like this is a perfect, this is a match made in heaven, bro. Really? Yeah, you know, <laughs> phone numbers for old people yeah. is on Discord, Discord. now. Discord. You, you might be in her DMs. I'm on her Discord. What couple's costume do you think you guys could pull off? I can be boy and costume. That'll work. You're Luffy. I mean, it would work out. Would you imagine going on a date, potentially? Mm. Definitely. Esports lounge? Please. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Yo, this is, this is great. This nigga found the love of his life, bro. I'm happy for him, bro. That's crazy. And the, for the second girl that Rem, that the one I was dressed as Rem, yo, pack her out of Earth, my nigga. Send her to Mars or some shit. Like, send her to Dweeb Island, my nigga. Yeah. If you enjoyed that video, man, drop a like, subscribe, bro, to 1K. It's your boy, Manny Max, and I'm out.